Matthew 15, verse 21. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. That's over on the Mediterranean Sea coast. Behold a woman of Cana. And we're going to read a little bit more about her in Mark. She's a Canaanite woman. She's a Gentile. Came out of the same coast, Tyre and Sidon. And cried unto him, say, Have mercy on me, O Lord. Yeah, that's good. Thou son of David. That's not her cry. Son of David is never a Gentile cry. Son of David, King David, Matthew chapter 1, is Jewish, Israel. And for this, he's not going to answer her. Because that's not the proper for a Christian or a Gentile to address Jesus. We address Jesus as Savior, Messiah, Lord, God. Never is he said to be king of the church. Never do we son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered not a word, because that's not how you address him. And the disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cries after us. So she has not given up. They're moving on. So is she. She's crying out. And the disciples, again, like the feeding of the 5,000, where you get rid of they're disturbing our peace. That seems to be a commotion with the disciples. Get rid of them. Now, mind you, he's got a multitude of Jewish people. And you got, and there's probably Gentiles, but you got this one Gentile. And you know how Peter feels about the Gentiles. How the Jews feel about the Gentiles. It's like, get rid of her. Send her away, where she cries after us. But he did send her away. He didn't answer her. You ever have anybody not answer you and just get to the point? Okay. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, son of David. And my ministry, John says, he came unto his own, Jewish. The ministry is not Gentile. Not yet. So for this Gentile to approach Jesus, son of David, that's not the proper response. And he's there for Israel, the Jews. Then she... Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Okay, she dropped the son of David. She understood what he said, lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, let me get rid of the son of David. Lord, help me. Because look, Lord, thou son of David, my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Help me. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread, Israel, and cast it to the dogs. Jesus said, I'm the bread. He's calling a woman a dog. That's what Gentiles were. He says, He turned to the woman and said, Dog? The bread that I have is not for you. It's for the children of Israel, God's people. Now you may say it's cruel, you may say it's harsh, but we're talking about Jesus. He does everything right. You can't say Jesus was out of, out of sorts, out of context. Look at the terms of dogs in the, in, the, in the scripture. It is Gentiles. 
she ain't done yet. You know, when you got a prayer request for the Lord, all right, you may said it the, the wrong way the first time. Go again. And the Lord may say, hey, listen, no. Go again. And he is saying to her an outright no, no. You know, people say, you know, you keep praying, and if the Lord says no, you quit praying. He's told her twice, no, it's Israel. No, it's not for you. You're a dog. Am I wrong or am I right? So she comes back, truth. She doesn't deny. She doesn't argue. She doesn't call her lawyer. She don't write to the newspaper. She says, truth, Lord. Okay. You're the bread. You're the Messiah. You're Jewish. It goes to the Jewish people. I'm a dog. Look at that. You know, we're getting in the, I want to be as clean as possible. I don't know how to do it. But there's the female term that is a cuss. And you can find it written on shirts, purses, rear ends. Anything of a woman's. And they're just happy. Some of them to be called that B word. This woman said, okay, I'm a dog. Yet the dogs. Truth, Lord. It's for Israel. Yet the dogs, me. And some people will get offended at How dare you call her a dog? She got rights. Yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. All right. It's Israel's bread. It's Israel's son of David. I'm a dog. And the food gets fed to Israel. But us dumb dogs are underneath the table and we get the crumbs. You know, that's a beggar's position. Lazarus. Rich man in Lazarus. That's a humbling experience. There's that king that, that, that chopped off the, the, the fingers and the toes, is it? Thumbs? Big toes? And they sat under his table and ate. This woman is in a position to hate. You know what? I'm a servant. I'm defiled. Here I am, under the master, God, master, God, rabbi, Jesus. Here I'm underneath the table. Some of them crumbs are going to fall down. You know, some of the Jews you've been doing with Jesus, you know, they, they, they brushed it off the table. We just got finished talking about, you know, they're not eating with unwashed, they're eating with unwashed hands. Her, 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 her. And yet they've taken the bread and scattered it off the table. For crumbs. Then Jesus answered, said unto him, O woman, great is thy faith. <laughs> What's the faith? You are going to help me. And I'm not going anywhere till you do it. <laughs> you can heal my daughter. Not as a not as a Jew Messiah, Jewish Messiah to a Gentile Lord. How about the master of the table to a dog? Be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And there's a daughter. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. The moment he speaks to her, he says, okay, be it now. That daughter, wherever, wherever they are, 
That daughter's healed. Now, Mark, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 7, and I ask you, please, pray for my family. Matthew, uh, Mark seven twenty four. And from thence he arose and went unto the borders of Tyre Sidon, entered into a house. Matthew didn't say about the house. And would had no man know it, but he could not be hid. So there are plenty of people around. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. He's in a house. Hey, Jesus is in the house. Hey, the healer, the feeder, the life giver. Come on. And the disciples are like, oh, boy. And then this woman shows up. Oh, get, you, there's enough people around us. You get rid of her. For a certain woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit called a devil, a devil's an unclean spirit, Matthew, heard of him and came and fell at his feet. Oh, we didn't read about that in Matthew. She's at the feet of Jesus. She's at the same place that the woman that bled for 12 years, the hem of his garment. The woman was a Greek. Okay, we didn't know about that. Syrophysian, I can't say that word, by nation. We learned that she was a Canaanite. She's a Greek. And Jesus rejected the Greek. If I can pun that tongue and teeth. Here's the Greek and Jesus is not, I don't want to help you. Jesus didn't deal with the Greek. That's a pun. By nation. She bought, she besought him that he would cast forth a the devil. Matthew said a devil. She says the devil out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her. Now we didn't read about this, the son of David. Mark doesn't tell us that. Matthew, the Jewish king. The, the line of David tells us she approaches in the title in the name of Jews, not Gentile. Mark, who preaches the servant Jesus, doesn't include that. But Jesus said to her, let the children, Jewish, with Matthew, first be filled. Let me go about and, com and complete the ministry of the Jews. Because Jesus already knows the Jews are going to reject him. Jesus already knows the gospel is going to go out to the Gentiles. Jesus already knows that Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles, is also going to deal with Jews. Let me take care of my people first. He came unto his own, his own received the not. For it is not meat to take the children's bread, Jewish, Matthew, and cast it to the dogs. There it is again. He called her a dog, Matthew and Mark. That's a Gentile expression by the Jews. I am not going to help you, Jesus says. No, because I'm going to take care of Israel. No. So when, when you pray and God says, no, don't, you know, that's it. And you're, no. And she answered and said unto him, she didn't take no for an answer. Maybe the Lord wants to find out how serious you are. I mean, if it's not that important and you, okay, no, okay, fine. See you later. I'll see you next prayer closet time. Yes, Lord. Yet the dogs, I'm a dog. She says, I'm a dog. No problem. Yes. Truth, Matthew says. She doesn't get angry. She doesn't get bitter. She doesn't, well, who do you think you are? 
The dogs eat under the table. I mean, the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Now, Matthew said the master, again, dealing with that son of David. Mark deals with the, the, the servant of Jesus. Okay, the table is the Jewish table. There are crumbs that fall down and we eat. Now, there have been Gentiles that Jesus has dealt with. Centurions. John writes to us that there have been more than what has been written in the Gospels. And he said unto her, For this saying, Go thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. She nailed Jesus down. Hey, okay, fine. Jewish. The crumbs. Can I have a crumb? Are you willing to settle for a crumb of Jesus? And all what the world can offer you? Are you willing to take all the world in? Or are you willing to take a crumb from Jesus? Can you imagine what a gospel track will do? Can you imagine what knocking on somebody's door? Can you imagine street preaching? Can you imagine what your influence at work by speaking about Jesus, by being uh, clean for Jesus, maybe opening your Bible at lunch and reading the Bible, can you imagine what those crumbs, can you imagine what crumbs would be when you get up and you give the Lord prayer in the morning? I myself, I get up in the morning, okay, I gotta use the bathroom. I come in, I sit on my bed, and I give time to the Lord. And I'm telling you, you know, the devil don't like that. Because since I started doing that. The devil got into my daughter. Right now she's gone. Devil wants me to quit. Devil wants me to stop. God wants me to grow. God is chastising me. God has rebuked me. And I'm not, it's my fault. My fault. My fault. And when she was come into when she was come to her house, wherever it is, she found the devil gone out, and her daughter laid upon the bed. Hi, mom. Her daughter would not be, in, can I say, in her right mind if her mother, when Jesus said no, the first time. Her daughter would not have been healed if her mother took no the second time. Her daughter would not be healed if she did not have faith, Matthew, in Jesus. Jesus said, great is thy faith. He said, well, why ain't things working? Why ain't things? Maybe you ain't got the faith. Don't take no. Keep at it if it's a serious prayer. And when you are defamed and you 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 put the low and yep, that's the way. I am. When God calls you to a sinner, say you know you're a sinner. You me. Well, you know what. You did that when you were a teenager, sinner. Oh, yeah, right. You know, I never thought of that, Lord. Did I get angry? Did I turn on God? No. I got down on my knees and said, Lord, forgive me. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, I never thought of that to today. Remarkable lesson.